What's up, guys? So I just finished up the good ending for uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and it was a lot of fun. But now we're gonna do the bad ending. So, anyways, welcome back, guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So. Back when I first played this game, I did do the good ending. There were some parts I did not remember, like at the end there, like where Adler like turned his gun on us and like shot. Well, I don't know if he shot first or I shot first. Like, I'm really curious about that. So if you guys know about that, please put it down in the comments below. Like, what, do you guys know if there's, if there's like an outcome or is that just like a cliffhanger? Like, that's a mystery. So I never played the bad ending before. Like, I just played the good ending and I just end the game right there. I didn't know about the bad ending until like later down the road, but uh, at the time, I already uninstalled the game and I didn't want to like reinstall it again because it was huge, like the mouse storage. And I think I was playing another game at the time, but I don't remember what it was. So this is going to be the bad ending of the game. And this is a first time for me, even though it was a long time ago, I probably won't even remember. So either way, it's a first time for me. So without anything else, let's get into it. Still holding back on us and we are going to get it out of you. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got, Come a on, Bell. got a job. Come on, you got, got a job to do. You've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now. What we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Greenlight Arsenal, we will detonate them all for the safety of Sobolevsky. For the safety of Sobolevsky. This is your chance to find who you really are, Bill. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solvetsky. He's in Duga. Duga. Sims. Oh, the name. On the, line. the name Everyone turned red too. Up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bill. Come on. You're still one of us. Yeah, it's red. So now they're our enemy. Set up ambush at Duga. Adler. Time to exfil. Right. Yeah. Tell Perseus I'm bringing Russia Adler's team to Duga now. We'll leave within the hour. Okay. Sims, Park. Yeah, all enemies. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, the Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system, big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Oh yeah? Adler, still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. Alright. Everyone converge on the gate. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bell? I don't know what you're talking about. Ashes to ashes. There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We ain't seen anything on our side either. It's him! 
fucking lied to us. That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere Russia so Perseus can detonate those nukes? You're a fool to trust me. Typical American arrogance. Unless stop the United States will harm the world more than those nukes. What kind of fucked up logic is that? <laughs> what a waste. You actually could have done something with yourself, kid. And then you would have killed me. Like help the U.S. hide nukes across the world? I bet on the winning horse. Those nukes were for defense, not offense. You don't recognize the difference? Offense is the best defense. I'd let you walk back to Perseus, but I think I'll spare you the regret instead. I'm sorry that you won't be around to find out. At least you never robbed me of my identity. Apparently we didn't do a good enough job. Oh shit. Time's up, kid. I got a job to do. Time for you to join, I'm not sure about that. I got a job to do. <laughs> Oh, RPG right in front of me. On your feet, comrade. Ready for a little retribution? Bell, you're making a mistake. Kill your former team. I don't want to kill Mason or Woods, to be honest. Sorry, Mason. Over here, comrade. Oh, this I have to follow it. him. Your friend went through here. He is not far. That's gotta be Perseus. Come out and play. You are running out of time and space. Oh, I had a sniper rifle. Oh well. The cat becomes the mouse. There he is. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? Sounds like a female breathing. That street dog should have been put down long ago. You remember my face, don't you? Perseus. Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. Let the new Soviet era begin. Detonate the nukes. The West falls today. Detonate the nukes. I like this one. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold. But that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American.
Ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Hmm. Yet. For humanity. Their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Oh. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. Oh. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can Yo, that's that? crazy. Of course. It's already begun. So the United States is now the number one target. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. Okay, so they're burning everything. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javali. He fell into the hands of your former CIA friends. Kasim is too soft. I will need you to personally supervise his erasure. As with Kasim, the CIA is now holding Anton Volkov. If you can locate him, bring him back to us. If they have broken him, he must be eliminated. So basically we're doing the same thing over and over again, except for from Perseus' point of view. You say that Eliezer Azule perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. I still didn't like killing Woods and Mason. Even though we have prevailed, the CIA has significantly wounded our foundation inside the U.S. Robert Aldrich has been killed, and our network there has collapsed. It could take us years to regain the footing we have lost. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. He was to help shepherd in the Soviet-aligned future. Hopefully, we can still move forward without his presence there. The CIA also managed to eliminate all three of Rudnik's key assets. We have no one else to help fill the void. Inserting new agents into such influential positions will take years. But have no doubt, these are but temporary losses. We are just getting started, my friend. Alright guys, so that was the bad ending for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. In my opinion, uh, be between the two endings, I kind of like this one a lot more because it kind of comes like full circle. Like, uh, this is who he was. That's what he was originally doing. But then uh, once he was like uh, brainwashed and like uh, working for the CIA, that was kind of like a temporary like obstacle. But then uh, he regained his identity and continued what he was doing. So I kind of like the bad ending a little bit more. It was more natural. And at the end there where uh, we destroyed... Uh, the Soviet network in both 
uh, United States and in Europe. I guess it would have been better if I did not do, do those two missions at all. So that way, the network in the United States and post uh, nuclear Europe would have been like, uh, like fully intact, and the Soviets would have been a lot more ha uh, like. Well, I don't know about Soviets actually. Uh, Perseus would have been a lot more happier. He's like, uh, now uh, everything's in place, and we got rid of the CIA distractions and all that. But as I said again. Uh, I just didn't like the part where we had to kill uh, Woods and Mason, but I kind of like this part because in the good ending, like Adler uh, tried to kill us at, at the end there. So, I mean, like either way, uh, we were just like a uh, expendable uh, resource in the good ending, but here we were actually who we are. So uh, that is just uh, my two cents. Like I do like the bad ending more than the good one. But, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I had a really great time playing this game again so the next game i'm going to be playing is call of duty vanguard so keep an eye out for that one and also i'm playing another game at the same time which is jedi fallen order and after i play that it's going to be jedi survivor uh so right now i, I got a list of like uh games uh planned out and i'm still looking for like other videos i could react to because right now it's just all over the place but uh, i got a lot done so we're kind of ahead schedule so again thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this video i I really enjoyed playing it and keep an eye out for more content. Check out my other videos on my channel, like my uh, gameplays and like my reaction videos. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night where you guys are. And again, thank you guys so much for your guys' support and I'll get see you guys next time.